Hello, welcome to my ninth tutorial on Erlang. Today we're going to talk about accumulators. They make functions more effective by storing immediate results as we go along. If we if we go back to the previous code I wrote, um, I think it was tutorial five when I was writing factorial. I wrote the factorial function using tail recursion. Basically, it goes through the body of the function till it reaches to n equals zero, and then it returns one, and then one comes to the factorial is the results from this factorial function, which multiplies by n, and that goes in recursively again and again. So it first goes to the tail and then it works all the way back up. But today I'm going to use accumulators to make the functions m more effective, really. So let's get started rewriting this factorial function. Now, factorial. So the first thing we want is n. n is any integer value we want and then we want another parameter to keep a count of the to act as the accumulator basically so we call it total factorial factorial I can't type today I don't know why so when it's greater than zero now here is the big difference we call the function factorial again and we give it n minus 1 and the total of factorial this time is going to be n multiply by total factorial when factorial factorial equals zero we still give it the total factorial total and now we write the body which just returns the total factorial copy and paste so what we have here is basically we call the factorial give it an end value we also give you a total factor an initial value which is going to be zero one no we give it a total factorial factorial calls n minus one and multiply by total factorial and it goes in and at the end it just returns the total factorial which is going to be one so total factorial is going to be one now let's test our code we save it all right we add in the function the function we're exporting which is factorial but this time we're giving it two argument perfect Yep. Spellings, eh? Alright. So, we have the shell running. First thing we have to do is change directory. So, cd We then compile the factorial f then we compile the easy file. So, easy. Perfect. First thing we do is we run the original factorial function, which is easy factorial. We give it a value 25. Factorial 25 is 120. Factorial of 5 is 120. Now we call the factorial using recurs using accumulators. So, so 5 and the accumulator initial value is 1. So. 120. Hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial. Well, five minutes. Um, see you next time.